Welcome everybody to the Let's Build a Network series. This is already the fourth video in our Let's Build a Network series. And this time we're going to configure multiple instance spanning tree. But in order to do that, I think let's recap what we already did because we already did a lot and we already have a working networking infrastructure. So congratulations for that. So let's have a look. So on the current slide, you can see that we already cabled all the switches. The configuration for the management VLAN, that's VLAN ID 100, all the IP addresses and all the uh, UNTAC ports are configured for the networking infrastructure. So this means that all the switches can communicate with each other. We even are using port 46 to connect our laptop in order to have at least a central place where we can do all the configuration. Um, we do that via Telnet in this case. If you want to use a more secure, you can use SSH and you can use more videos on this channel to see how you can do that. The other thing we did is bringing the whole infrastructure to the software version we are wanted to use. So, and we did that via multiple technologies. We did USB, we did TFTP, and we did HTTP. So the software revisions are fine. The default management configurations are fine. Now we're going to take the next step and that's configuring multiple instance spanning tree. Why are we going to do that? In order to make sure we don't get any loops in the networking infrastructure and so that brings up the stability of our networking infrastructure much, much higher. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do, don't worry, we're going to do a very simple setup within one instance. Uh, but when you go through the setup, you have a better understanding of how you can configure multiple instance spanning tree. So let's have a look. What you can see here is we have three terminal windows, the 3810. That's our, uh, more or less our core switch, as you can see on the screen. We have the 2920 and the 38, uh, 3500, and you can see all the different IP addresses there. On the next slide, the 3810 will be used as uh, our, our spanning tree root switch, and then the other two are more or less the leaf switches of the spanning tree. So we're going to use multiple instance spanning tree, already set. Uh, the, the root bridge, we're going to do some additional configuration and all the VLANs will be part of one single instance. The default inter instance of multiple instance spanning tree is what they call the ISD instance. But I want to show you how you can configure a separate instance, instance one, so that you already see a little bit of more advanced configuration and get used to this one. So why would you use multiple instance? So let's say, for example, you have two core switches for redundancy but you also want to do some load balancing and using all the links in your infrastructure that you, you can do. In this case, for example, create um, the left core switch, for example, you can then create as instance one for all even VLANs and then uh, as a root brace and then the right switch, you can, for example, then configure instance two for all the uneven VLANs as a root brace. And this way you can use all links and all switches in your infrastructures active active. We're not going to do that in this particular video because we're only going to uh, configure one instance, but that's how you, why I show you how you can configure uh, a separate instance like instance one instead of putting everything in the default IST. Okay, let's go ahead. Enough talking. Let's do configuration. So, conf-t. Uh, let me first show you show span. As you can see, spanning tree by default is disabled and the default is also MSTP, but it's still I wanted to show you how you can um, can set the mode by having MSP. It. So it's a little bit one command too much, but then you know that you set the mode on MSTP. Okay, spanning tree. Let's give it a, a, an overall priority, and this will be the root primary switch. I already configured that once. That's why you can uh, can get this uh, uh, this this uh, notification. Config, oh, sorry, config name will be let's build. And important thing, we are going to create all the three switches will be belong to the same MSTP region. That's how you call that. But you need to make sure that all the systems in the same spanning tree region have also the same, for example, config name as a type in here. And be aware this config name is case sensitive. So we need to configure that the same on all switches. Okay. We're also going to configure a config revision. And we also, let's set up the instance. Instance, instance one, VLAN. We're going to put all our VLANs in this instance. 
That's all the VLANs we are using in our infrastructure. If you want, you can also pre-prep or using a range of, for example, VLAN 400-2000. So this is the way you can either pre, uh, pre-configure pre VLANs that doesn't exist yet, so as we do right now, uh, and you can also uh, um, making ranges of VLANs. But we do it like this. We also make this switch, instance one, the root switch for this particular instance is already a root switch but if i want to let if i want to sh- for example make a separate instance so spanning three instance two for example then i can also to make the root secondary and uh, priority one for example and then make the other switch uh, exactly the opposite around so let's 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 see what we configured so far um yeah, that's good. So root primary. Let's make sure that we configure this switch instance one also as the root switch for this one. Show run. I want to make sure that the instance that we also having the root primary. Oh, this is a little bit too much actually. So let's remove that immediately from the slides. So this is the configuration we need to have okay um let's enable spanning tree enable takes a couple of seconds and then we can do a show span this is the default ist instance you can see that this switch is root and we can also show you show span uh, instance instance one for example you can see that this switch is also root and these vlans belong to the instance okay that's done so let's move let's save this to make sure we have the right configuration safe let's move to the next switch that's the 3500 on the 3500 you will see one separate command and that's this command uh, 1 to 46 admin edge port and the reason why we have the 1 to 46 admin edge port is that on these switches so the 3500 and the 2921 we are going to connect edge devices so we're going to connect laptop desktops in order that they can communicate over the networking infrastructure we know that these devices are not a are not a switch or a bridge or something like that so we know that spanning tree cannot happen there. So that's why we configure all the edge, edge ports as admin edge so that when uh, these devices connect, they don't go through the whole spanning tree calculation and checks and etc. etc. but they can immediately work. Okay. Let's oh, let's start configuring. Conf T. Um, again, I will do the mode MSTP. Then spanning tree, uh, we do one, two, forty six, and we put them all on admin edge port. Then we're going to make sure that we're going to configure the config name, config name, and we give it let's build. Be aware, this is uh, case sensitive. Spanning tree config revision one. Let's create the instance. One VLANs are 100, 1110, 200, 210, and 400. Enter. Spanning tree instance one. Priority. Let's give it a priority of four. Spending tree enable. Show span. As you can see, this is the uh, common the IST instance again. The this is the MAC address and that's the MAC address of this switch because that's root. So let's have a look at spanning tree instance one. As you can see, this is the right VLAN and this is the root the MAC address of this switch because that's root. And you can see 
that port 47 that's the port where we are connected to the 3810 is the connected to the that's the root port and it is in forwarding state so let's make sure we save this let's go to the 2920 let's go immediately into configuration mode set the spending p mode to mstp again then what we're also going to do is the only this now 1 to 22 as admin edge port set the config name and that's again let's build we put the config revision on the number one set spanning tree we're creating the instance instance one vlan 100 1 1 10 200 2 10 and 400 set the priority and we're going to put spanning tree enable enable is not needed if you do spanning tree enter it's also fine show span you can see again the mac address of this particular switch for the isd forwarding on that particular port and show span instance one you can see that again the mac address of the 3810 the vlans and the port 23 is the root port and it is in forwarding state so let me save the configuration here so this concludes my configuration of multiple instance spanning tree so now we have uh, protected uh, the infrastructure against loops uh, we're making sure that the clients don't have any issues um, when they when uh, when a, when a laptop for example is connected they can immediately start working and don't need to wait to a port, uh, port forwarding state uh so they don't feel uh so the users don't have any any delays or something in that um we see that it is working we can see that uh, the mac addresses and both the the ports connected to the are, are have a root role and are in forwarding state so everything is working fine in the next video we're going to configure the vlans uh, the rest of the VLANs of the of the networking infrastructure and so we're getting a more and more uh, advanced networking infrastructure here so that we can start really using and segregating uh, uh, users for example or groups of users so thank you very much hope to see you next time please like the channel please like the video uh, leave comments if you have any questions or any ideas on new videos and hope to see you next time